Hi, so in this video I want to show you how to use the auto folder feature for custom GPTs. Um, before we start, um, you need to have the Superpower ChatGPT extension installed. To get that, go to <clears throat> Google, search for Superpower ChatGPT, click on the first link, it will send you to this new page on, on Google Chrome Web Store where there is a button that says add to Chrome. Once you add, click on that button, it will add the extension to your browser and you can go back to ChatGPT, refresh the page and you will see all the new features installed on ChatGPT. Now, <clears throat> the feature I wanna talk about today is one of our newest feature, it's called um, auto folder for custom GPTs. Basically, um, if you use um, custom GPTs a lot, you're gonna have a lot of conversations created with these custom GPTs. And it would be really nice to have a way to automatically organize those conversations. So with this new feature, uh, when you enable it, um, every time you create a new conversation with a um, new custom GPT, it will save that conversation into the folder for that um, custom GPT. I'm gonna show you how it works um, to, to give you a better idea. So first you need to have this feature enabled. Also, this is a um, um, pro feature, so you need a pro subscription to be able to use this feature. But to enable this feature, you go to the setting, go to folders, and the first option here is auto folder custom GPTs. Make sure this um, toggle is on. Once you turn that on, go back, and then now you can um, create new um, conversation with your custom GPTs. Now, if you create a conversation with a custom GPT and there is already a folder for it, that conversation will be added to that existing folder. But if you create a conversation with a custom GPT and there is no folder for it, it will create a new folder for that conversation and all the future conversation with that same GPT will be added to that same folder. Let's um, try both examples. So we have the Dolly for folder already here. So if I go to Dolly, um, custom GPT, and then just say hi here, um, it's gonna create a new conversation for me. And it immediately went into the Dolly um, folder that I already have, and it added that conversation to Dolly. Um, if I go back here, uh, let's try another GPT that we don't have a folder for. Let's say this one, the Code Copilot. We don't have a folder for this one, so I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna just say, hi, start a new conversation um, with this custom GPT. I'm gonna submit that, and that is going to create a new folder called Code Copilot, and it's gonna save that conversation in here. If I go back to the top folder, I'm gonna see that I have this new folder, Code Copilot. It automatically gets the image from the GPT, so it's easier for you to distinguish them and know which GPT this belongs to. It um, also, in the folder list, um, all the folders that are associated with your custom GPTs always show at the top of the list. Um, no matter what sorting you pick, the custom GPT folders always appear at the top. And they always have the same color as this one by default, but you can of course change the color if you like to. Um, and yeah, that's how you, how you create custom GPT folders. Um, if you turn this option off, these um, conversation that you create with the custom GPTs won't be added to the uh, existing folder automatically. So if you wanna use this feature, make sure that first you have a pro subscription and second, you have the um, auto custom GPT folder feature turned on so you can um, take advantage of this um, automatic organization feature um, on your GPTs. Um, I can, you can also change the image of these um, folders if you want to, but obviously um, that would make things a little confusing. 
you want the image to match the image of the uh, custom GPT. Um, but yeah, that, that's how you use the uh, auto GPT, auto custom GPT folder feature. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.